Okay, so I'm going to show you how to download eSword. So I just opened my internet browser here. And I'm just going to type in eSword. I'm going to click on eSword Home. It's funny right here, they actually try to give you some false doctrine. This isn't the same word for um, predestinate. This word is actually pro aridzo, so they put a different word here. I don't know why they tried to do that or who the resources they're using there, but that's um, some pretty crazy stuff they wrote there. So we're going to click on download eSword, and we're going to click on eSword install. Now, um, I had tried to do this already, but my internet was running horribly slow. So I figured in the meantime, I might show you all just a little bit about Blue Letter Bible. It's blueletterbible.org. So right here, you can type in um, different parts of verses or a verse, like it says, a verse or words or topic. And um, hey, since we're talking about predestination a minute ago, We'll look up everywhere where that word's mentioned real quick. It'll only take a second. So you type in pre, oh, sorry, predestinate, predestinated. So I'll type in predestinated. I know that one's there. And we'll click here. It's predestinated is only mentioned twice in the English, but the word prohorizo is actually mentioned six times. So prohorizo, you see it right there. Strong's numbering, 4309. And we'll scroll to the bottom. It means the mark out beforehand. So God already knows who believes in him. So it's mentioned six times in Acts 28, Romans 8, 29, Romans 8, 30, 1 Corinthians 2, 7, Ephesians 1, 5, and Ephesians 1, 11. So anyone who says they don't believe predestination is actually saying that they don't believe these six verses of scripture right here that explain that God already has a chosen people beforehand. So um, I'll do more on that later. But um, we have about 29 seconds left here. So just bear with me. And um, yeah, so predestination means the mark out beforehand. It's pro horizo. Horizo is where we get the word horizon. So pre horizon and pre bounded. And you talk about bounds, you talk about definitions, marks, names. There's a lot of synonyms there that um, we can learn from. So, okay. Now I'm going to click on this. It just finished up. And I'm going to be showing you how to um, download some content into eSword. Sorry I got cut short there, but all you got to do is follow the command prompt. So you're just going to click next, next, next. I agree, next, and then it'll download, and um, once it prompts you, you got to click finish, so just agree to everything and finish, and um, so now we're going to open eSword, and I'm going to show you how to actually download content once you're in there, and that's what makes this feature so cool is because of the free commentaries. If you're familiar with some of the um, mobile phone apps, you might already know how to do some of these things. So there's different ways to get there. You might click on dictionary. or, um, or You know what? Sorry. Just click on um, download there. Oh, so download, and then you got to click on um, dictionaries. But it's going to give you an option. See across the top here? It says Bible, commentaries, dictionary. So let's see Bibles. Maybe they have a um, an interlinear Bible here. Let's see. So we'll see. Um, it would be by Green, maybe. Let's see. Uh, I don't see anything um, right offhand. So we'll just go to the. I wonder if they have Tyndale. Alright, I'm not going to download anything completely crazy, but um, I, I'll see the, the, G, the Jewish publication, Society Old Testament, right here. And um, so after you click on what you want, and then maybe you want another one. Let's see, maybe you want, uh, um, let me see. Um, yeah, I can't click on some of that stuff. It's just 
feels like selling my soul or something. Because <laughs> some of those things are so crazy. So, um, okay, Kill and Delish. I mean, these are monstrous commentaries, some of them. So, once you do that, you click um, Download. And watch this. Entire books in the matter of seconds. Look at that bar go. I mean, you have these entire huge commentaries that are just available free to you right here. It's just, that's amazing. It's really unbelievable that we have this kind of access at our fingertips these days. I mean, just completely insane. Cyclopedia of Biblical... Is that the McClintock and Strong? Yeah, it's gotta be. So, um... Well, we... I would download those as well, and like the faucet, that's probably good. Hastings, yeah, Hastings is good. I mean, all this stuff just free, free. So right here, I'll click on these Hastings. This is good stuff. I've paid some good money for these books, and this stuff is all free right here. Download it in a couple seconds. Just awesome, incredible. So right here, we can um, click between KJV regular or KJV plus or even compare parallel so um, KJV plus you can just hover over these numbers and it gives you the definitions of these words the bar is the Old Testament equivalent to the New Testament logos so if we type in like um, or if we go over here this is how we find where we want to go so Jeremiah then I click on 15 and it'll show you Amar that said and then um, if it says the word came it's the the bar so Amar and the bar are equivalent to like um, Logos in the New Testament so let me see I found it earlier but now I can't seem to oh here we go word oh the bar there it is so a word by implication of matter and if you click on John, click on one, and then click on word, something said, including the thought, by implication, a topic. So you see how those are related. So, all right, well, now we know how to download stuff in um, eSword. So that's what I wanted to do, teach you how to download it and teach you how to download information once you're in there. So I hope this has been useful, and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos and get more content that I'll be putting out. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.